Yo, what's happening? So happy to bring you another review today. This right here is like a movie series type thing. This is Kevin Hart, Die Hart. <laughs> so this is his attempt at kind of an action movie, but it is a comedy as well. There are some hilarious parts in here. This is a Quibi exclusive, so this is an app that you download on your phone. And pretty much you have to watch it on Quibi. You can't like shoot it over to your TV or anything. You have to watch it on your phone. I know a lot of young kids and stuff. They basically watch everything. A lot of people watch a lot of things exclusively on their phone. I'm still not there yet. I rather would rather watch something on my computer or on my television. I don't like to watch something right there that small. So that is the drawback of it. The good thing is that it is a, a free pre preview. You do have like a, a set period. You, you don't have to give your credit card information or whatever. You can uh, download the app and have it for free for a, a selected time to be able to watch the shows. It looks like they do have a lot of uh, a lot of interesting shows. They have some big actors on there as well. But all I watch is the Die Hard so far. I might watch something else. I don't know. But basically, this is a 10-part series. Each one is like nine minutes a piece. Uh... They came out daily. They came out like weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, came back Monday and stuff. So that's how they dropped. Uh, so Kevin Hart, he's at, it's starring him. He's playing himself, but he's at a crossroads in his career. He's tired of being like Dwayne, the Rock Johnson sidekick and stuff. So he like, he doing a, a interview on television, and then he spazzes out. He like, I can be a leading man. I, I can be an action star. And so he storms off. And so he kind of like ruins himself in, in Hollywood. And so Hollywood kind of like turns their back on him. They're like, Kevin Hart went crazy. But they had a producer, a director that recognized him. And so he like, I want to, to put him in my film. And so he's like the biggest action director in the world. So Kevin Hart has to go to a school and learn how to be an action star. And in this, he meets John Travolta. And John Travolta is his trainer, basically. And John Travolta is batshit crazy. And then they also have a female that joins the cast. And she is the the only black girl from uh, the Game of Thrones. I don't know her name personally. I'm sorry. But she plays on here. She is his uh, female counterpart. The thing I that messes me up is because he plays himself, but he has kind of a love interest in the movie. Like, if he plays himself, like, we know you're married and you got your kids, you got all your allegations. But anyways, for the sake of the movie, he has a little love interest. But it's not really necessarily a lot of love or anything. But they put them through a battery of tests and stuff. Basically, he's failing. He's getting his ass whooped left and right. But it is funny. It is funny, man. He is trying to engage into his inner hero but then he starts to kind of see that that some things are off. He like, I think John Travolta is a crook, he's a murderer, and this and that. Uh, basically, he is caught up in a Truman Show kind of thing. Because the whole plot of it, uh, spoiler alert, is the director wants to put him in real life situations to get real life reactions out of him. So a lot of things going around him is for the show. He thinks it's serious and he's he's... Uh, left and right, he's stressed out in going through dramas. But basically, it's what they set up for him. And so, in the movie, you see him progress as a hero. He has little heroic moments. He has a lot of moments where he's getting his ass molly whopped. And Homegirl is like the hero. You know how Kevin Hart movies are. He always, hey, eh, uh, then they beat him up. He's the, the butt of the jokes. Uh, I, it's funny sometimes, but to me, it gets repetitive. I'm a small dude myself. I'm not as small as Kevin Hart. He probably weighs more than me, but I'm taller than him. But the thing about it is like, man, I, I don't think everybody could kick my ass and stuff, man. And, and shit like that. Maybe they can, but I don't think so. But, but he like it for the, for the smaller brothers. Like he's, he's not the sex symbol or anything. I mean, I, I want him to rep for the small brothers, man. Like you can pull the girl. Oh, shit, you can kick somebody's ass or something. But he always the butt of the joke. But it is funny. They have moments of 
they kind of start figuring things out and they have cartels and stuff come in and so kevin is fighting against them and it's all for the sake of this show and i don't want to spoil it too too much but hilarity ensues uh does he become the hero that he wants to be uh he, he kind of does he has a little moment he has a little moment uh towards the end to me like the last two episodes are the funniest there are a lot of funny funny uh parts but uh episode nine they have like some fighting scenes and ho and he like yeah we got kick in ass up in in right here then he the ho the girl is holding somebody he go runs at him and then they kick him in the mouth and he like oh this bitch to kick me in the mouth so they have like a lot of just crazy stuff like that he jumps out he tries to shoot somebody yeah i'm from north i'm from uh, north philly pow, 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 pow. <laughs> the homeboy like <laughs> he missed every bullet so uh, they have a lot of scenes man it is funny as hell i do give it that it is funny i would definitely say you can check it out uh download the app it's free for now like eventually you'll have to pay for it so if you want to like uh watch as many shows as you can like you could download and try to binge whatever you want before you have to pay i think the payment is maybe like 4.99 a month it's not that expensive but the drawback is you have to watch it on your phone. I didn't like that because when I do watch something, I do like to multitask. I like to watch something and text and just be all over the place. So it does make you kind of tune in to the show. I can't like multitask while I'm watching it. But yeah, uh, it's, it's cool. It's, it's another avenue of people bringing out their content. Uh, it's it's a good diversity of Kevin Hart to a certain extent. Like towards the end, like you see him in more action type stuff. Well, he's kind of did that with the with the Rock, but he always like he's not the dude. Like he was the main person in this, but he still was the butt of the joke. He was still getting the ass whooped and stuff. So he's kind of stereotypical of Kevin Hart, but towards the end, it does pay off, man. I give it. I give it like an 8 out of 10, man, because there are a lot of funny parts in here. They have a, a nice cast. It is a, a good little story. It has a couple little twists here and there. I would definitely say to you to watch if you're a Kevin Hart fan or you just bored with We are bored. There are nothing. There is nothing coming out. And Kevin Hart is one of the biggest stars in the world, so we get to watch something with him. So that's always a plus. But that's my thoughts on it, man. So die hard on Quibi. Uh, Quibi, send me my check. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest and the most hated, man. I'll let you boy. Peace out.